Hello students and welcome to a new lesson in science. In today's lesson, we will still be talking about where do plants and animals live. And the objective of our lesson is to explain where plants and animals live and that they are part of a system with parts that work together in the natural world. So, let's get started. In this lesson, we will get introduced to two new interesting habitats. First one is the ocean. So, take a look at this scene right here and tell me, what can you see? Yes, we can see different kinds of animals and plants that live in the water. We can see a turtle, fish, crab, starfish, seaweed, and coral reef. These animals and plants live in the ocean. Oceans are areas of salty water. Oceans are deep and wide. Oceans are the habitat of many kinds of plants and animals. Another interesting habitat which we are going to talk about now is called the pond. Have you ever seen a pond before? A pond is a small body of fresh water. A pond is a system. Living things are part of the system and the pond has everything they need. So now Let's name the different plants and animals which we see in this pond here. So, we see fish, we can see a duck, we see frogs, we see a dragonfly flying above this pond, and we can see also some nice flowers. What is the name of this flower floating on the surface of the pond? Yes, it is called a water lily. And what about these nice flowers on the sides of the pond? Yes, they are called cattails. All of these animals and plants live in a pond. A pond has everything they need to live and grow. Time to move on to page 115 in our science book where we are going to solve this exercise together. And in this page, they are asking us to circle two pond animals. So, where are the pond animals in this picture? Very good! We will circle the dragonfly and we will circle the fish. Now, in the second part of this question, they are asking us to put an X on two pond plants. So, we will put an X on this, on the water lilies. And we are going to put another X on this beautiful flower on the side of this pond. Well done, everybody. And now, let's open page 116 in our science book, where we can see an ocean scene. And in this ocean, we can see different kinds of animals and plants. Now, do you still remember what is an ocean? Let me remind you about it. An ocean is a very large body of salt water. An ocean is a system. Living things are part of the system. An ocean has everything they need. Our question is to circle the animals in the ocean. So, what do we have to circle in this picture right here? Very good! We will circle 
the dolphin. We will also circle the fish. We will circle also the sea urchin. And last of all, we will circle the starfish. All these animals live in the ocean. The ocean is their habitat. Let's proceed to page 117 in our science book where we can see pictures of different animals that live in a zoo. So here we can see pictures of these nice birds which are called parrots. We can see a picture of some beavers in water and we can see a picture of a giraffe. And in this page we are going to learn more about a zoo designer. So, what do we mean by a zoo designer? A zoo designer is a person who builds places where animals get what they need. A zoo designer designs spaces where different kinds of animals get what they need to live and stay healthy. And our question now is to circle the animal that gets what it needs from a water area. So what do you think? Which animal is getting what it needs from water? Very good! It is the beaver. So let's circle the picture of the beaver in the water. Our next question is to put an X on the picture that shows the animal getting the food it needs. So, which one of these animals is getting the food it needs? Well done! It is the giraffe. So, let's put an X on the giraffe picture. Well done! And now, Let's move on to page 120, where we are going to check our understanding of the lesson. So here, in question number one, we have a picture of a desert hare, a bear, a fern, which is a kind of plant, and a cactus, which is another kind of plant. And our question is, to circle the living things you would find in a forest. But before you answer this question, let me remind you of the difference between a desert and a forest. Do you still remember? Let me help you with that. A desert is a dry place with very little water, so few plants and animals can grow in a desert while the forest has more water and it is a place where many animals and plants live and grow. So, take a close look at these four pictures and tell me which living things you would find in a forest. Very good! The bear lives in a forest. What can we find also in a forest? Well done! The fern! Now moving on to question number two, where we have a picture of lily pads, a picture of ferns, a picture of a forest, and a picture of a pond. And our question is to draw a line from the plant to the place where it grows best. So, where do you think the lily pads grow? In the forest or the pond? Very good! Lily pads grow in ponds. What about the fern? Great job! Ferns grow in forests. Well done, everybody! And finally, Let's open page 121 in our science book where we are going to solve the following questions together. So, 
For question number three, we have a picture of a dolphin, an elephant, a lizard, and a fish. And our question is to circle the animal that lives in a dry place that gets very little rain. So what do you think? Is it the dolphin, the elephant, the lizard or the fish? Very good! It is the lizard. But let me ask you one question. Why can't a dolphin get what it needs in a desert? What do you think? Very good! A dolphin needs to live in a water system and not a land system. And that's why a dolphin can't live in a desert. Now moving on to our last question, which is question number four. So here we have a picture of a squirrel, a picture of a shark, and a picture of an eagle. And our question is to draw a line under the animals that would use a tree for a shelter. So what do you think? Very good! We are going to draw a line under the squirrel and under the eagle. Both animals use a tree for a shelter. What about the shark? What environment has what a shark needs to live and grow? Let's remember together. Very good! The ocean does! Great job everybody! You're doing a good job! And remember to attend our Zoom classes as we will talk more about different interesting topics every week. Goodbye!